Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wait, What Are We Talking About podcast, episode 217. My name is Brett, a.k.a. Enigma911, and today we're going to kind of stray away from the usual rigmarole intro, all that jazz. We're just going to kind of get right into it. Um, hi, Moose. Moose is back. I'm back. I know it's been a little, a little while since we've been here. Whoop. We had the trip to North Carolina recently, uh, and then we've kind of taken a few weeks off, missed a few weeks, so kind of want to do a bigger episode today, catch you up on what's been going on outside of streams, content, podcast, whatever, and then we can get into the normal stuff of what I've been doing during that meantime, or how I've been filling my time. Um, so we're going to kind of do a little life update here, what's been going on, if you don't want the downs <laughs> i guess uh you know because obviously i understand podcasts a little bit of escape for everybody just kind of reminiscing about fun topics or going over some stuff that we're all interested in and interrupted by a cat here and there um i get that i'll put a timestamp down below if you're checking out the full episode so you can skip that and get to the fun stuff uh shouldn't be too too long but where are you going dude pick a lane <laughs> um so yeah uh what's been going on since the break uh so trip was good had a great time catching up with everybody um since kind of the tail end of that trip it's been a little bit of bad luck after bad luck for the past couple weeks um and yeah losses have been kind of rolling in so it's been dealing with that um towards the tail end of the trip unfortunately family dog passed away this was my grandfather's dog uh cinnamon we kind of took him in once my grandfather left us and he unfortunately passed kind of quick unexpectedly he had uh diabetes he was dealing with it escalated and unfortunately just better situation to have him go than keep him around and you know not risk it but have him suffer more so he went while we were away so that sucked obviously I uh, got to say our goodbyes. Um, so when we we did that, I believe it was a Thursday night when we came back. Did that, said our goodbyes. Um, went to work the next day. You know, obviously a little bit down just because of how he was. Or saying goodbye to him, still feeling the effects of that. Walk in and everybody at work's kind of gathering together our big boss is there and she drops the news that my direct manager had died uh and passed unexpectedly that night so there was that <laughs> we're told to go home uh that friday not to focus on work obviously wouldn't be able to so we had to deal with that all weekend um still haven't got a lot of information on how he passed um there's some some ideas about like his his heart and stuff like that and possible sleep apnea but nothing definitive so that's still kind of up in the air so on top of cinnamon's passing now it's the whole well you have the whole weekend to process how's work gonna go with me being in this position for less than a year like okay how what is expected of me how am i gonna run things whatever stuff like that so we get to work or i get to work the next week and you know it sucks just because he's gone but overall things were fine in terms of work wise it was just kind of figuring out what we could do what i could do keeping the ball rolling there keeping things afloat um and then yeah i stupidly you know i was like oh well death comes in threes who's gonna be my third and it was what was it saturday morning yeah so that the following that work week went fine Saturday morning rolls around. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling actually somewhat good. Uh, felt like I was more motivated to do some stuff, get back on the, you know, projects here and there, work on that, work on the apartment, clean that up or whatever. So woke up early, felt good with that, and then I get a phone call. <laughs> uh, grandmother passed away also unexpectedly. So that was a whole, like... I don't know i felt i don't know how I, I couldn't process anything at that point it just was like i was exhausted already uh from the loss of the other two so i didn't know to feel empty sounds awful um but i i didn't have anything left to give or anything else left to give it felt like um you know it kind of ebbs and flows here and there 
uh, with her. Not that it was a bad relationship or anything like that. It was great. It was just, yeah, I just I felt awful not processing that differently. Um, so we had the services the following week. Um, as of recording last Wednesday, I felt better because I had that moment of closure with her. I uh, still felt awful and guilty just for not seeing her as much in comparison to other family members and stuff like that, and that's something I'll have to live with um, and try and be better about with the rest of the family members there. And that could be just me overthinking. Shocker. I do that all the time. Um, of just, like, you know, hoping things would have been different of me in terms of hanging out with people or spending time with them. Once again, not bad or negative relationships in any way just like something i feel like i could have done better with um and it's it's just a different relationship which i've talked about with my therapist and kind of going over all this like it was funny sounds bad way to put it but like catching with up with him after the trip he's like okay so how was everything i'm like <laughs> well let's get going and then to have the follow-up session and be like hey guess what another loss was uh that was a whole fun conversation to have with him for two sessions in a row but so yeah that's been mainly what's been going on and why i haven't been streaming why the podcasts weren't going on just because there was no motivation to do anything um as we'll talk about later with the other topics like i tried to escape reset do some things that were fun for myself in terms of games in terms of shows and movies but it's still a struggle uh even today like i feel better than i did but there's still moments of just loss and still motivation like even this podcast right now as we're recording is really late in terms of when we record uh, i was supposed to do it sunday normal day um didn't end up doing it then so it's more of like you have to do it type thing uh to myself or you're gonna feel awful so we're here doing it um but yeah i haven't been able to do really sit down and focus and work on i guess the normal stuff that i want to work on or try and improve and whatnot and i'm trying not trying to make excuses just explaining where i've been at mentally um and i get it you know you need time to process these things and whatnot uh it's just yeah it was really shitty three weeks in a row of a thursday a friday a saturday just boom 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 <laughs> just uh yeah there was a lot of thoughts that went through my head with all the processes um or all each situation entirely like i think work and my manager weirdly was one that hit harder than the other two and i think that's just because it, it kind of permeates into other situations obviously with work and the whole work balance there and how that's gonna go and then just the shocked or the means of how he went and how it was out of nowhere like there was mind was going work wise and my own mortality wise which was weird if like oh i guess i could draw. i mean that could happen at any point obviously regardless of someone dying or passing recently but like those thoughts became more prevalent of like yeah i don't know if i'm gonna wake up tomorrow <laughs> type deal so that was a bit spooky um and yeah just now i'm on edge all the time of like oh <laughs> what's gonna happen and that'll that will go with time it's just the unfortunate situation we're in right now trying to find some way to get back to normal and get back on you know with life not that you know i've shut down and i'm not working i'm not doing that that kind of thing but like trying to not overthink everything and i think forcing once again sounds bad but doing something like this and doing the streams later this week <laughs> uh doing things like that trying forcing myself once again sounds bad to do those things i hope that will help and that will alleviate those situations and make coping with it better coping also sounds bad um yeah i don't know like i said just a very quick update about what's been going on why i haven't been around um so if you did watch this i appreciate you thanks for taking that time because i know once again these are meant to be an escape just something fun to listen to watch whatever it is whether you're playing something or in the car or whatever as you intake this uh that's what it's meant to be it's not supposed to be like hey here's all the shitty stuff that's been going on 
Um, but I appreciate also the transparency that you guys allow me to have with this. And I mean, we haven't done like a real topic in a while. So to just put that out there, vent, try and move forward from it. I appreciate you guys taking the time. If you did listen to this and for those who didn't totally understand, um, but yeah, I want to be better normally and <laughs> goal wise. So, um, hopefully I can get back on there and try and move forward past this point and not get stuck in a rut because that would be bad. <laughs>